Uranium stocks are up. Let's find out why. Hey, this is Fabi from The Next Big Rush, where we talk about growing your wealth through smart investing. If that's you, then hit the subscribe button below and the little bell right beside it so you won't miss any of my future videos, the best of which are yet to come. Talking about uranium now, uranium is all the rage right now if you invest in resource stocks, but if you don't invest in resource stocks yet, you have to take a look at this. First of all, if you haven't seen my first video uh, that says Uranium News, how we got here, then click on this banner that's coming up right now and you're going to be taken to basically chapter one of this story. This is the second update as a follow up to that video and recently a few things have been happening that have finally really gotten Uranium stocks, I don't want to say it, but fired up enough with the uranium puns for now. Let's take a look at some of the news. Okay, so let's start off with uh, this Bloomberg piece, US plans uranium import probe that may lead to tariffs. And I chose this specifically because tariffs is not really uh, what energy fuels and your energy are looking for. They're looking for quotas. So they want to up supply from 5% to approximately 25%. Actually, not approximately, they want um, 25% of US uranium to be sourced in the US. So uranium that's used by US utilities to be coming from uranium mines, which obviously would benefit these two US producers. So they're asking for a quota, they're not asking for a tariff. What the US will actually decide about this is unknown, but this piece of news says that yes, we have accepted that this might be uh, enough of a worry that we need to investigate. And so they have started investigating. Doesn't mean that the tariff or the quota has been approved, but that they're looking into it. So this will take quite a number of months to play out. I'm guessing anything from six to 18 months for them to actually come back with a yes, let's put a quota on and how much that quota would be or no, let's put a tariff on, etc, etc. Uranium trader Yellowcake debuts on AIM after raising 150 million pounds in its IPO. So we've talked about this and Yellowcake, which is uh, YCA, has debuted its trading right now. You can actually go and search for uh, YCA stock and look at how it's done. This is for the last five days, but if you go for the full month, you'll see that it uh, started trading at 204. Today, it's 209, so you're you're up. Up quite a bit today, to be honest. Uh, Katusa Research, how you can join one of the world's elite investment clubs. So this is about, and I don't know if I can say this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. So this is about an opportunity to actually join into a private placement before the company goes public. So it's before the IPO, which if it's in a hot enough sector is almost, and almost with lots of asterisks, almost a sure way to make money right on opening day. And this is, you guessed it, it's uh, a uranium company that is coming public. It's, uh, well, I don't want to talk too much about it because you're supposed to be a Katusa Research subscriber, which I am. Now, Petition 232 is important, but the most recent piece of news was this. And today's news, actually uh, yesterday's news, maybe two days ago if you're watching this on Friday, Cameco uranium prices too low to restart MacArthur River mine operations. So they have to actually lay off 550 employees at the MacArthur River mine and also they are cutting about 150 positions at their corporate office. So this is not great news if you work for MacArthur, sorry, if you work for uh, Cameco in the MacArthur River operation or at their office. This is about a quarter of their office that is actually being sacked not great at all. I listened in on the conference call and it turns out, and this is the big piece of news, this is what did it. This is what is making the price of uranium 
go higher than 25 today. Okay, so the CEO basically said that they're going to incur in costs about 30 odd million dollars to close the mine and a further five to six million dollars every single month to keep it closed. So just think about this for a while. They're saying, no, we will not reopen MacArthur River for the foreseeable future. We don't know when it's coming back up. If you listen in on the conference call, it's going to be very clear that they are not in a hurry whatsoever to restart this. Obviously, they're sacking a bunch of people, so that tells you everything that you need to know. I would not really guess that they're gonna restart this before they can contract at $60 per pound or something along those lines. Little known detail, Sachem Cove Partners. You guessed it, Uranium Themed Special Situation Investment. So this is a private institution and you don't really know what's going on, but this is by Mike Alkin. If you know Curzio Research, then you know Mike Alkin is huge into uranium. Uh, search for his name and you'll see one of the best YouTube videos on why he is investing in uranium right now. Rumor has it that this is private fund of $20 million going all in on uranium. What can I say? That's more money into the market. And a couple of things that have happened lately that have also stirred the pot. The Ranger Mine that has been in operations since 1980 and continued into 2012. That is going to be closed, is going to cease operations completely in 2021. They have stockpiles until late 2020. They basically have dug this out a lot and they can't really expand it. Their neighbors aren't happy about obviously having a uranium mine close by and so it will come to an end. This is actually something that happened uh, quite a long time ago and I forgot to include this in the last video from uh, Uranium Investing News. Paladin Energy pulls plug on Langer Herrick uranium mine now. This is possibly a 4 million pounds uh, at full capacity that is coming off the market as well. So this is a bit of old news, but that's also an ingredient that is restricting supply. So uranium isn't just a story about one flooded mine that has happened in the past. It's not about uh, one thing happening and then all of a sudden, you know, this whole sector goes up or crashes. It's about a lot of different pieces that are coming together very slowly and the signs have been there. I've been screaming about it for a very long time. And finally, the market is noticing, yeah, this time it might be for real. So if you want some stock ideas, then go on Twitter, follow Quakes, John Quakes. He is really an aggregator of uranium news in general. You're going to find out pretty much on a daily basis the hottest news on the sector, the spot price of uranium, any upcoming Japanese restarts. By the way, I think we're on the ninth restart, ninth, <laughs> on the ninth restart, and whatever else happens. I am super excited. One of the viewers of my last video commented and said, like, what do you mean you're early for stuff? Do you have a crystal ball? In, you know, a very tongue-in-cheek, making fun of me way. And all I said is watch Uranium for the next, I don't know, 18 to 24 months. Maybe I should have said watch Uranium for the next 18 to 24 hours. <laughs> so things are happening slowly, fundamentally, but the prices of Uranium stocks have really started to pick up. Now it won't be just up, 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 up every day from here. That doesn't happen. There will be down days. But I mean, for the long run, right now I have approximately 70% of my portfolio in uranium. I don't even know. Um, I have to go back and do some calculations. So I'm betting big. As always, do your own due diligence. This has been a sector that has just killed people in the last few years. I started dabbling in uranium in 2014, so if you would have gone in with me, you would have lost a lot of money. But right now, I'm up on all of these investments. Do some research, make your own decisions, don't blame me. All right, if you like this video, hit like and subscribe because there's a lot more coming your way. Take care.